Hello, my name is Matthew Rickardson, and today I will be showing you my Antikythera Mechanism app. I created this app for the iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad, but for this demonstration I'll focus on the iPad interface. I'm mostly going to explain the features of the app, but if you would like to learn more about the Antikythera Mechanism itself, you can visit www.antikythera-mechanism.gr. So, let's open up the app. As you can see, the interface immediately brings us into the main view so that we can start playing around with the device. The Antikythera mechanism was an ancient Greek artifact believed to be the world's first analog computer and was built roughly 2,000 years ago. It works using gear trains. You can see all the gears on the screen colored in red and white to show their current rotation. This simulation of the mechanism is completely functional as opposed to simply animated so the user can interact with it and explore how it works. The multi-touch interface allows us to rotate, zoom in and out from, and move the mechanism around the screen. As you can see, the app is very easy to use. The Antikythera mechanism was a handheld device that was used to calculate celestial information. Pointer dials on the top and bottom of the device provide output, while a knob on the side of the box would allow the user to provide input. The semi-transparent disc on the bottom right of the screen simulates this knob. By spinning it, we can rotate the gears and spin the output dials on the top and bottom of the mechanism, as you can see here. The disc allows for precision input, meaning the user can adjust the gears by only small amounts, such as how I'm doing now, or with long continuous rotations. As the entire mechanism is connected together, we can rotate all the gears and change the output using this one dial. Historically, the Antikythera mechanism was a handheld computer, taking on a box-like shape. One fun aspect of this project for me was the concept of taking the world's first mobile computer and implementing it on one of the world's most advanced handhelds, the iPad. In a sense, this app makes history come full circle and is an interesting bridge between modern and ancient technology. Double-clicking on the screen brings up a dialog box that allows us to switch between view modes. Right now, we are focusing on the pointer dials, so the gears and encasing box are faded out, though not completely. Another view fades out everything except for the gears, as shown here. We can still operate the controls as we did before, and still spin the gears and the dials using the same device, but this time the pointers and encasing are completely faded out, while the gears are shown on full brightness. The original view that we were seeing when we entered into the app was the default view, and you can return to that at any time you wish. This is the box mode, which allows you to see more accurately what the actual dimensions of the mechanism would be. On the top and bottom of the box, you can see the pointer dials, but the gears are hidden inside. For a person using the Antikythera mechanism over 2,000 years ago, it would look more like this, with pointers sticking out on the top and bottom. There are several key features, however, missing from my representation. One is the input knob, which would be on the side of the box. However, I abstracted that control in the form of the disk on the bottom right. Another key feature missing are the inscriptions that would normally cover the outside of the box. These inscriptions hold the values that the pointers would be indicating to at any given rotation as well as instructions for how to properly use the mechanism. I chose not to include these inscriptions for lack of complete data and also simplicity. This last view is called the pin and slot view. One key engineering aspect of interest is the pin and slot mechanism within the device. Here a pin attached to a gear connects into a slot on another gear and is used to create a variation in rotation. I included a pin and slot view in order to show that this simulation performs this functionality accurately. Lines are traced outward to show the rotations of the gears more dramatically. As the gears turn, the lines move in a cyclical fashion, separating and coming back together repeatedly. As you can see here, the two lines are separated. When I move them to a different position, they come back together move them away again, and they're separated. This variation in motion was critical to the accurate calculation that the device performs. And that's pretty much it for the current user interface of my app. I wasn't able to completely explain what the Antikythera mechanism does, 
but if you would like to learn more, I would encourage you to visit the Antikythera Mechanism Research Project's website at www.antikythera-mechanism.gr. Thank you very much.